Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out, you guessed it, this week in EDM. We've got 24 songs this week, and uh, let's start off with the trash category songs that I think are pretty bad regardless. Um, we've got Party Jumpin' by Marshmello and Jamie Brown. Uh, it's a screechy yet grungy beat that sounds horribly compressed. I, I really... It really, there really is no sustenance to the song. There is no substance. There's no nothing I really like about anything of the song. I am impressed that Marshmallow continually over and over again makes songs that I just don't enjoy. Then we've got the bad category. Moving on to these songs that I think are just, uh, I think are not my flavor, I guess, for the most part. But uh, we've got Thrones of Blood by Sullivan King, uh, the third single from an upcoming Thrones of Blood LP of the same name coming out soon. Uh, I, you know, I just wasn't feeling this one. It felt really flat for me. It's a little bit more uh, intensive um, than I normally like or intense than I like for my kind of uh, drum and bass that's kind of mixed with this kind of screamo kind of rock metal sound. But uh, yeah, I just, the whole thing felt very flat as well. I, I don't know. It just sounded like the quality of the mixing and mastering didn't feel up to par, I think, on this one. So I wasn't a huge fan. Then we've got uh, Deep in LA by Dirty Audio. I think this one works in the club setting pretty well, especially if it's in LA. Uh, but overall, I thought the song was just pretty uninteresting and wouldn't really work in other contexts. So that's why it's here. Uh, and then we've got Crocodiles by Buz, uh, Lotado, and Crooked Bangs. Um, I really think the vocals ruined the song for me. I, I'd have to say it was the vocals. Um, other than that, it's a basic slap house um, track that maybe with some different vocals I would maybe appreciate a little bit more, but I just could not get over how much I did not like the vocals here. So sorry. Uh, then we've got Enough to Drink by Sam Felt and uh, Kat Downey. This is your kind of basic EDM summer breakup song. It's fairly bland for those that really listen to a ton of EDM, and it's going to hit the charts for those that don't really care a ton about the quality of their EDM. Uh, then we got uh, the final one in bad. We've got Days Like This by Martin Jensen and Jay Sean. Uh, gotta love uh, when a two and a half minute song, under two and a half minute song is somehow repetitive. How does that even work? Why? How? I just, I, I don't get it. It's boring vocals with a simple house beat. Just, just not for me. So uh, then we're moving into the meh category songs that, you know, I thought, thought were just meh. Uh, we've got Love Me, Hate Me, VIP, originally by Kaizo, uh, Dwayne, and Cray. Uh, minimalistic, old school, kind of hardcore beat here. A really interesting take on the more rocky original. And I actually think it is a step up from the original here. So it's it's a weird song with kind of a weird fusion of styles. But I, overall, I thought, you know, not, not too bad. Now we've got uh, Make Me Feel by The Chainsmokers and uh, Chene, Chene Giles. I'm not sure how to say that correctly, but a uh, very fun clubhouse track here with uh, very little, honestly, Chainsmoker sound to it. I There wasn't a ton that was like, oh, this is The Chainsmokers. It felt a lot like um, Chene, Chenini, got Giles. I'm not sure how to say it, but it sounded a lot like that. And so that's why I think it's just in May and not a bad Chainsmoker song. Uh, and then we've got Call Me Anytime by Jay Hardway. Uh, I haven't heard this style of future house in a long time. And so it kind of brought me back to this nostalgic thing for me in like the early 2010s where I was listening to only the the, the future house. I, I freaking loved all of it. And that's all I really listened to. So a um, bit of throwback. But otherwise, the, the drop is, is pretty kind of fun and interesting and something I haven't heard in a little bit. So maybe that's why I liked it as much. But uh, other than that, uh, yeah, not too bad. Then we've got Delusion by Snouse and Fabian Mazur. Uh, the Wendy EP is out now. Uh, and I just think there's more exciting tracks on this EP than this one. Uh, the track is like this weird kind of not and is hybrid trap as well. And I, yeah, I just thought there were better songs on this EP, stuff that was more intriguing, more interesting to me. But uh, Delusion was the one that uh, showed up in the release radar, so... Uh, then we got Back to Me by Affinity and Nev. Uh, pretty basic melodic bass here, melodic dubstep. And uh, I just, I don't care that much about melodic anymore. It's not a bad song. It's just, it's just basic. And you're going to hear that coming up a little bit soon here. Uh, we've got New Hor or the yeah New Horizons by Alpha 9, who is Artie, if you know who Artie is. Um, the New Horizons LP of the same name is out now, which is a progressive trance alias, or I guess the progressive trance LP. And this Alpha 9 alias is a progressive trance alias from uh, Artie. Well, wow, it's lots of words there. Uh, it's a fairly simplistic production with a kind of joyful tone and atmosphere to it, but uh, really not a ton going on. So not a bad song, but just not a, not a lot happening. 
Then we've got Gyrate by Rez and Quaxon featuring Rechnome. Uh, this is your classic Rez sound with a kind of underground techno beat to it uh, with, an, with a halftime finale that Rez is kind of known for at this point, I, I would say. Uh, and again, other than that, track wasn't too special. It's kind of by the books, Rez, and um, yeah. And then we've got After Hours by Dubs. Uh, this is, again, another kind of standard house track. There really isn't anything bad I can say about this, but there really isn't a ton of good I can say about this. It's just kind of a basic song that just exists. Uh, then we've got Dream of You by Bishu, a kind of vintage sounding disco house track here. Very interesting style from Bishu, something we hadn't really heard a lot before. Uh, it's a simple little track, pretty quick again too, but I think this one works pretty well. I was honestly surprised this was Bishu and I really did like um, the style of it, but uh, nothing I would think I would put on replay a ton. So that's why I just landed here in meh. As we move into Good, uh, no standout this week, sadly no standout this week, but we got nine tracks in Good. Uh, we've got Affection by Protostar, Alora, and Danika Nadeu. Uh, kind of classic Protostar is always here with the absolutely smooth, clean DNB. Uh, great vocal performance from Danika here. Um, just overall a really solid track that um, I just I really do like drum and bass from Protostar, and then this is that, so... Then, uh, shockingly, for me at least, we've got Fool by Mr. Belt and Weslo and Million uh, featuring Betty Bloom. I actually really, really like the vocals on this. I think um, th this is one of the few times where I actually, in, first off, a quick track works pretty well. And uh, otherwise, it's a fairly basic kind of house, almost slap house production in the backdrop. But um, the, the vocals really added a lot. And I think it carried the whole track into um, almost going up, I think, two categories. Other than that, it may have just been a bad song, but I, I really did love the vocals a ton. So... Uh, that's fool. Uh, then we've got All I Know by Tony Romera and Azdek featuring Karina Romage. Uh, Well-produced house track here with a kind of fun beat and solid length to it with almost, I think, just over five minutes. Um, less flashy, I think, here, especially from Tony Romero, who's kind of the uh, introspection album was a little bit more flashy. I would say a little bit more uh, put, no, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say put together, but a, a little bit more, a little bit more chaotic, a little bit more stuff happening in the tracks. And this one was a little bit more laid back, a little bit more relatively minimalistic. And I think uh, it paid off really well, so... Uh, then we've got Jaws, Zed's Dead, and Nicole Miller with S.O.S. Uh, a low-toned drowning synth line here that we kind of known from Zed's Dead, and a little bit of Jaws as well, uh, with solid vocals, um, albeit the lyrical content is okay. It's kind of basic. A lot of songs with S.O.S. are going to kind of be the same lyrical content, but other than that, a uh, solid song, I think, was this one opposite, carried by the beat here. Uh, and they've got Sinews by Murata. I don't normally like Murata a ton, but uh, I could I could get down with this one. Uh, this is another kind of short track, but I think um, the more less intense production, the less in your face, more uh, attuned to melodic or the kind of more melodic sound uh, really, really made this one, yeah, good for me. I would say landing good for me. Uh, so it's a shorter track, but uh, you know, solid. I, I could get down with more Murata like this. Uh, then we've got uh, Laser Beam, the Eliminate remix, originally by Ray Volpe. Uh, fast pace drops here that uh, really kind of uh, get her going kind of drops uh, with a kind of off drop melodic sections that were very nicely tuned and kind of has that classic, very electro sound to it. And uh, I, think it, I think it worked really well as a remix. Then our third final track of the week is It's Not Love by Wales and Rowey Wedger. Yedger? I'm not even sure to say that at all. Uh, feet Maggie York. Um, this is, I think, the best Wales track I have heard in its entire discography, at least for what I've heard. Um, I, I think this is best Wales. Um, it's a little bit more of an expansive track. It's longer at about, what, four, just under five minutes. Um, a more fuller sound, I think, here too. And uh, it just, I think all, it all worked really well. And this is the best of Wales I think I've heard. So way to go. And our penultimate track of the week is Fever Dreamer by S.G. Lewis featuring Charlotte Day Wilson and Channel Trey. Um, this is kind of a disco track, so it's not quite edm -y, but you could say it's new disco, um, but very dreamy vocals. I love Channel Trey and all that he does for tracks. I think it works really well in the kind of disco or deep house kind of style tracks, and I think this is perfect for Channel Trey here. Um, overall, just a solid, solid track, and I'm a big, big fan of S.G. Lewis too, so... Uh, and our top song of the week is Deja Vu by Fox Stevenson. Um, again, another quick song. Obviously, there's lots of quick songs this week, as there always is, because that's the trend in, in the world of music. But uh, it's kind of a stellar lounge beat to it that you don't really hear a ton um, from especially Fox Stevenson and or really anyone doing this kind of weird house drum and bass kind of fusion of, of 
style, I guess, that he kind of switches switches back and forth. And so, um, big fan. Uh, there's an upcoming, I believe it's an EP coming up soon, but I was told apparently otherwise. Um, but uh, yeah, this is my second favorite from the singles of some of her, some upcoming project, whatever it is. So I did a full reaction to it in another video if you want to see that. But uh, other than that, uh, I've been Botet Media and this has been This Week in EDM. I'd love to hear what you think and any and all thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in another video.